here are 10 things you need to do to get your home ready to sell. Number one, you need to disassociate yourself from your house. You now need to start thinking like a buyer instead of the homeowner and the lover of this home for the past 10, 20, however many years. The easiest way to put that buyer cap on is to actually go look at other properties that are currently on the market and see what you notice when you walk in. These are the same things someone's going to walk in and notice when they come to your house. Number two, create curb appeal. Buyers may not even get out of the car if your curb appeal isn't on point. Believe me, I've had clients do that before. Make sure that you mow the lawn, pull the weeds, paint where paint has faded if necessary, and definitely add a wreath or some kind of ornament to the front door that says, welcome, come into this home. Number three, declutter and depersonalize. A buyer does not want to come in and see your house. They want to see what's going to someday be their house. So that means you need to remove any and all family photos throughout the house. You want to make sure that things are organized and nice and neat. Um, again, making sure that even inside cabinets, that cups and bowls and plates are stacked neatly. Anything that you can do to make your home look like a model home is what you want to do to attract the most buyers and offers possible on your property. Number four, consider renting a storage unit. Let's face it, over the years, you can collect a lot of different stuff and nobody wants to see it. So the easiest thing to do is to rent a storage space or a pod that gets delivered to your house, fill it up with all the stuff that you need to get out to sell the house, which can include furniture, but perhaps you're selling your house in the summer and there is no reason for you to have winter clothes in your closet. Take those winter clothes out, put them in a storage unit, and that just makes your house look all that more spacious. Number five, remove and replace all your favorite items. That includes your favorite wall sconce that you've had for 10 years that you plan on bringing to your next home. Even if you exclude it in the sales information on MLS, you have to presume that a buyer thinks it's part of the house. So make sure to remove or replace it. And that goes also for any of your uh, prized possessions, any valuables. While we don't anticipate there's ever going to be anything stolen from your house, we never want it to happen. Number six, paint your walls a neutral, contemporary paint color. I understand that you love your teal green bathroom, but a majority of buyers would prefer a very neutral toned paint in their bathroom or throughout the house. Again, a neutral contemporary paint color will go a long way and get you thousands more on your final sales price. Number seven, make minor repairs to your home. This includes fixing any leaky faucets, perhaps a window has been broken. And not only will the buyer appreciate this and you will get more money for making these types of repairs, but you actually get to enjoy it for a little bit of time too. Number eight, don't just clean your house, make it shine. We're talking scrubbing the floors, vacuuming the carpet daily, dusting in the corners, cracks, crevices, nooks and crannies, any day and every day, cleaning the windows inside and out. These are all the things that are gonna make your house sparkle and shine and ultimately sell for thousands more. Number nine, create a list of all the updates and upgrades you've made to the house. This is incredibly important to a buyer so they know how new or old the water heater is, for example, or if you have surround sound in the family room or perhaps you've remodeled the bathroom. These are all great pieces of information and details that any buyer is going to want to know. Last and certainly not least, number 10, find a realtor that you can trust. I strongly recommend that you find three realtors that you have gotten recommendations from, whether it's from me, it's from friends, it's from family, and interview them. Figure out who you gel with the best, who's the most responsive to you, and ultimately who you think is going to get you the desired results you want. And once you've picked that realtor, trust that realtor to do the best job possible for you. For more information on real estate, or if you're thinking about moving, 
contact me at 949-444-1601.